Welcome to Intro to Statistics Part 2. Let's go over some commonly used graphs and statistics. First, we have a stem and leaf plot. The way this works is we have a digit in the 10 spot, and this is the stem of the graph. For every digit in the first digit or one spot, we place that number in another column called the leaf. So a 11, a 12, and a 16 corresponds to the stem of 1 and a leaf of 1, 2, and 6. Next we have a dot plot, which you take the numbers you are working with, in this case numbers between 1 and 10. We then basically make a number line and place the number of times a particular number shows up represented by a dot above that number. So 1 shows up once, so 1 dot. 2 shows up 4 times, so 4 dots, and so on and so forth. Histograms. For a histogram, we'll be using the same numbers as our stem and leaf plot. We will set a range of every 10 units and place another column that depicts how many times a number falls within this range. This will be the frequency. The range can be whatever you want it to be. It doesn't have to go by 10s. So there are 3 times where the number falls between 10 and 19, so we will plot a 3 in the column that represents the range of 10 to 19. To finish off this video, let's discuss box plots. It consists of a box that represents the distance between the third quartile and the first quartile, a line within this box representing the median of this data set, two lines coming off the box which are commonly referred to as whiskers, which represent 1.5 times the interquartile range, or IQR. For the whisker on top, it is a distance of quartile 3 plus 1.5 IQR from the median, and for the whisker on bottom, it is quartile 1 minus 1.5 IQR from the median. Any data points outside of these whiskers are considered outliers and are marked with an X or a dot. That concludes this video. Hope you have earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.